Okay, so this is going to be a lot more of a controversial video. I was asked in the comment sections by uh, a commenter of mine, Akira Shizuka, I think it was, why I thought Closers was the better game over Elsword, and I could honestly see where he was coming from. I'll go ahead and put the comment on the screen for you guys to read, but I'm just going to go ahead and get into the topic. Um, I'm going to break this up into about three parts of PvP, PvE, and both the games side by side as a comparison. Now, starting with PvP, I can tell you that Closers is just a lot more enjoyable for me. This is completely my opinion because, well, if I had to say which one had the better PvP system, Elsword is a whole lot better than Closers would be. That That's kind of weird hearing from me or weird saying, but Elsword kind of wins it a little bit, hands down. The thing about it is that Elsword has a lot more depth to it and a lot more substance than Closers does. As far as catching goes, skills, you know, all that good stuff, Oki game, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's, it's just has so much more there than Closers could, could provide. As far as everything else goes, it's got mana breaking and all that whatever good juicy stuff that you want to call it in PvP. And then Closers, once you look at that game, you have a basically a counter which is like your mana break and then you have your skills and your singular Z key. Now there's nothing wrong with that. Heck, if you put the games side by side then hell you'll see that they're somewhat similar. It's just that one's missing an X key and the other one's missing more skills. And to be honest, I'm okay with that, you know, having more skills and just having one Z key. But at the same time, there's just something about Elsewhere's PvP system that just makes it more fun. And that's obviously because of all the tech that it has to provide. It's got X drops, stepping, all that stuff out the wazoo, KD resets, less resets, less conversions. It's got all of it. It also has multiple maps you can play on. It's got a somewhat competitive scene. I say that loosely because I haven't seen any new Pan Am Summer tournaments or any new su tournaments in general. I haven't seen anything on YouTube or Twitch lately. I haven't been looking out for them. They haven't really existed. And I honestly wish they'd come back. Heck, I'd love for Tyrone or like maybe even Outspire to come back and just host some tournaments. I wouldn't want them to play the game. God no. Screw this game. As long as they've been playing it, I'm pretty sure they're tired of it. But I'd at least like to see them commentate some matches and set it up. Because watching the different variety of players come together, seeing whatever styles they can, you know, come up with, all the trash talk, the competitive scene, all the fighting, the combos, it's amazing. It's a wonderful thing to see, and I wish I could just go ahead and play a clip for you right now that kind of just expresses what I mean, but I guess I'll just leave that at the end of the video as to why, and, you know, I'll, I'll just end off with that. I'll, I'll show you a clip as to why probably at the end of the video, but I can definitely tell you right now that Elsewhere's PvP is far more superior than Closers, in a way, but I prefer Closers over Elsword for the fact that there's too many factors in Elsword now that makes PvP not enjoyable. PvP in Elsword is laggy, there's items, there's gear, there's too many factors that just make it not enjoyable. and majority of the things that do make it enjoyable are overshadowed by all the things that, you know, just ruin the experience. All the gear, all of the high skill cost, Oath of Ruin, majority of the other titles that probably ruin your day, and the unbalanced roster just takes you out of it. I mean, why does Grandmaster have such a high speed passive? Why does DC have an awakening passive and the mana reduces, you know, the, the mana cost on the skills? Like, what even? There's no reason for a DC to spam Shooting Star on me every time I drop a combo. I shouldn't, you know, get punished for that. I don't... I mean, like, sure, I can read it out and, you know, avoid Shooting Star by probably throwing out a skill, but what if I don't have the mana? I probably use some mana in my combo and I don't have the mana to protect myself. And some of these skills can't even be mana broken. Come on now. But Closers, everything's normalized. Even at level 15, you can fight a level 48 and still win. And even when matches are laggy, unlike Elsword, when you hit the guy, they'll at least take some damage. So that means that it becomes more tactical than it is combo-based. 
and your mind games come into real good play when you're on the field in closers. If you look back at one of my PvP videos, How Do I PvP, at the start of the match, the guy literally rushed up on me, surprised me from off screen, and then that, that caught me and comboed the crap out of me. And that combo was boss, and I loved it. That was the type of rush I was looking for in Elseward that I never found for a long time until I met this Fury Guardian that you see on screen. He's got mad Oki games, he's got combos, he knows what he's doing, he's in my head. It's an enjoyable match overall, and if I ever do get to meet this guy again and fight him, then I will most likely fight him. It It's enjoyable to find these matches, but the reason why I don't go to sparring for some of these matches is because, well, I want to rank up. As much as it sounds bad, yes, I do want to rank up. Because as much as rank doesn't have like any meaning, as a gamer, I kind of just want to hit triple s rank it's something that i want to achieve it's like trying to get that trophy on like psn or some crap like that and like people will say it doesn't matter and like that that i shouldn't do it but i mean would you not want to do it wouldn't you want to go ahead and get triple s rank by your own skill i do it it's kind of like how you'd play ultimate mall versus capcom 3 to get the high lord or cosmic lord or something along those lines you want to get that rank, you want to get that title, you want to get that trophy, you want to get access to all the special sparring stones. Okay, you probably don't, but I know I do. Like, that that's just me. But that that's just me and my instincts as a gamer. I totally go to sparring for good matches, but not when it doesn't really give me much of rank, and not when all the good players are there. I mean, like, I gotta fight through all these bad players just to get what I want. That's not what I'm looking for. <sighs> but that's just kind of how I feel about PvP. I love Elsewhere's PvP. I love the system, like, to death. I can honestly tell you. And I know it sounds crazy. Because as good as Closer's PvP is to me, Elsewhere's just feels a lot more superior and has more depth to it. That's just simply it. But I'll play Closer's more until Elsewhere fixes its stuff. And I'll probably still play Closer's more because it gives me more enjoyment. And the reason why I'll move into PvE on this one, the presentation. Elsword is slowly starting to become outdated. Every time I run a dungeon, or a secret dungeon, doesn't matter which dungeon it is, I'll get bored. I'll lose motivation to level my character because I'm bored. As soon as I get to Hamel, I'll get bored because the last dungeon requires you to run it so many times that I'm just, you know, bored. I don't want to run the dungeon anymore. You see the same thing in there, you kill it, you try not to die by overpowered skill, and you just use your skills, it's just, I, I, I don't know, just boring. It, it it really bores me. I don't like doing Haneer, it bores me. I don't like doing Seer Dungeons, it bores me. I mean, like, I'll have fun with the event dungeons, it gives me something to do, I guess, but those don't stick around. When it comes to closers, sure, it has your regular dungeons, and you may get bored, and it may be easy, but that's where you have other dungeons to, you know, play. I mean, like, it doesn't even have to have a purpose for you to do it. You can just go in there and have a good time. The thing about closers that, you know, feels fun to me is that it feels like it remembers that it's a game at the end of the day. Elsewhere, at the end of the day, is just a game. Closers, at the end of the day, is just a game. You have all these special dungeons that you can go into, like Lure Extermination, Andrus Apparition, Operation, the mispronunciations. Fuck. Um, and then you got Replica Dungeons, which adds to the table. But not only that, but each town has like a special dungeon that you can even go to. Hell, one of them has two, and that's the cube over in the next town after the school. I can't really remember much on Closers because I've been playing it for a while now, but I'm not going to know everything off the bat as far as dungeon and characters. But I can tell you right now is that Elsword has some things that it does right that Closers does kind of wrong as far as free training and, I don't know, PvP again. It's the fact that Closers, it doesn't have a real, you know, training system. Elsword does. It has free training. You beat on the tree mushroom or whatever enemy you want to, you practice combos. And closers, you don't really have that. Oh god, hold on. Oh, excuse me. You don't have that in closers. You have the cube, you go in there, you practice some combos, you get the feel of what PvP is supposed to feel like, and that's it. 
you go PvP, you have some fun, and you learn on your own. And there's nothing faster than, you know, getting your ass beat, but Elsword just kind of gives you more to explore with. Closers doesn't. And honestly, Closers isn't that good of a, um, okay, it's not the best game. It's a really good game. I love it. Like, it, it feels like an online Devil May Cry every time I play it. <laughs> Which is kind of hard to say. But I can honestly tell you that it, it just feels more fun to play Closers. When you go into Elsword, and this is like my ending topic here, when I go into Elsword, it doesn't feel fun to play Elsword because everyone's always so salty and so mad, and majority of the time when they call you salty, are you really salty at the end of the day? Or are you more so just kind of disappointed that you got cheesed at the end of a match? I mean, if you got hit with Shooting Star from a DC that was overly geared and had Oath of Ruin, and he one-shotted you, would you be salty or would you be disappointed? There was nothing you could do to prevent that. He had enough mana. He hit you with a skill that you couldn't mana break and you were going to die from. You're going to be disappointed that you lost that way. And that he's going to probably call you a noob and troll you. And then, you know, go on about his day and get that free easy XD SSS rank that nobody cares about. Because it doesn't show your true skill. Closers, you don't have to deal with that. And I'm completely fine with that. I don't have to find some sparring room, I don't have to, you know, log off and take a break. I can just play closers and have a good time. And that's what just appeals to it more than me than Elsword. Community's nicer and everything. But that's about it for me. Let me know what you want to see more from my videos, and I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Take care. If Elsword was an actual fighter without being an MMO, I'd love it to death. If the PvE component was stripped out of this game entirely, and it was instead designed by people who had an interest in making it a fun and fair fighting game instead of selling fucking enhancement scrolls... If that happened, Elsword... Because there's a core of this game. There's a core of this game that's the same as the core of any fighting game. And the best matches that you have with players who are genuinely skilled and have put in the time and the work to translate their skills into results. When you have matches with players like those, the core shines through, and it's something beautiful, and it's why a lot of us stay with the game, even though, like, because people ask top level players a lot, why do you still play this game? Because it's such a common sentiment among high level players that Elsword is a fucking horrible game. And it is, it's really bad. But there are moments where it can be everything that we wanted it to be when we first started playing. What caused us to step into the world of Elrios in the first place shines through once in a blue moon, and it's addictive. It is something incredible. I think when you look at what Elsword can be, and put it next to what it has become. It's hard not to feel a little bit disappointed by the lack of potential, by the lost potential, really.